Well, good evening, everyone. I'm Sam Wright. I'm Brian Allen. This week, we have been looking at some of the issues that rental tenants are facing. Rental assistance is available in Sioux Falls for those who qualify financially, but that is rarely the entire solution. One woman we spoke with has concerns that her landlord may be scamming other renters, as well as organizations, subsidizing her rent. First, her investigator Beth Warden with our story. This neighborhood on the west side of Sioux Falls is home to many who own or rent mobile homes. The woman we're introducing you to asked that we blur her identity out of fear of retaliation. This Sioux Falls woman who was raising her five grandchildren remembers the day her family moved into their rented mobile home. The carpet was shampooed, but you could still smell the dog pee, dog poop in it. Safety is an ongoing concern, stemming from times when her door was busted open. Some guy came into our trailer house, and I didn't know who he was, nobody knew him. I said, who are you looking for? And he mentioned some name, I said, well, I think you're at the wrong place. He said, oh, wait a minute, he went back up. When a second break-in occurred, she says her landlord threatened to evict her, but would look the other way if she paid extra for the door repairs. Our investigators obtained pictures after the door jam was replaced. She was told the cost. So I did pay the 475. So I don't know if I paid my way out of the eviction, but I know I didn't. That little wood didn't cost $400. Rent collection came with additional requests. Norm, I have your rent money. I said, did you throw in a little extra money in that? He said there were even more fees. That's what he told me. I owed him 600, and then now it's 700 as of as me paying the rent this February. She went to an assistance organization that agreed to pay her fees, but needed an itemization. It took him about a month and a half to, to even send her one, email one, and she couldn't read it. We contacted her landlord, Northeast Investments LLC owner Norman Reinhardt, who told us during a phone call that her remaining balance was only $400 and he'd forgive the debt. We requested an email to confirm and have not received a response. Meanwhile, this grandma sees newer, cleaner places for rent for about the same price as her 1970s era mobile home. Not only a scum lord, but a, just one of the ones who wants to take advantage of the whole system. And I believe my rent was only 1250 and then when I got on housing, he jacked up the rent to 1450 County records indicate over 140 mobile homes are owned by Reinhardt or his company. This woman has questions about the repairs, the rent, and extra fees for herself and other tenants. I'm scared to ask him why. In Sioux Falls, Beth Warden, Dakota News Now. If you have a tenant or a landlord concerns, you can contact the City of Sioux Falls and the Attorney General's Consumer Protection Division. We have contact information for both over on dakotanewsnow.com.